Hello. Hello, yes. Yes, my friend. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, you're a Muslim? Uh, yes. All right, what do you like to say to us? I was saying, I don't know if you heard me, if there's any proof that Muhammad is a prophet? Uh, first of all, who are you? <laughs> who are you? You are calling like, me and you're asking me who are you? No, no, I'm just... Uh, what do you want me to say? I want you to tell me how you believe Muhammad is a prophet. What makes you believe he's a prophet? Uh, because uh, I read the Quran. And, okay. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, you know, come to, come to the conclusion that he's a prophet. Okay, God. give me, help me uh, to, to get the same conclusion you got from the Quran, as you said. How? What is the conclusion? Or how you get the conclusion in the Quran? Because help. in the Quran, yes. you have... A lot of narrations too and um, for example you have the people of Moses the people of uh, a lot of prophets and the main message is reiterated over and over again mm. it is to to uh, worship okay. the true God mm. and to not obey the e evil doers uh -huh, okay. and when I read the Quran yes I f found this pattern mm. and I concluded this is true. All right. So the Quran forbid you from doing evil. Yes. That's that's really strange, because what I know that the Quran order you to do evil. Uh, yes. Where? Okay. Let me ask you: Is having sex with the children is evil or not? It's evil. Okay. Did the Quran order you to have no. sex with the children? No. No. Okay. I think not. All right. Let us see if this is true or not. So if we go to the Quran right now, and I will give you the verses so you can read with me. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is verse number four in chapter 65. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Okay. This chapter talking about divorce. This is the chapter of divorce. Talking about wait, divorce uh, in children's. You're talking about uh, Surah Nisa? Yes. No, chapter, no, so, no, sorry. Chapter 65, not Nisa. Ah, chapter 65, 65 at, at Talaq. Divorce chapter, verse number four. Okay. Wait. 64. Yes. What verse? Chapter 4. Chapter 65, verse number 4. Okay. Number 4. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I have it. Okay. Is that about divorcing children? No, I don't see such. Okay. Do you, do you like who who explained the Quran for you? The scholars, correct? No. Who who explained it for you? If you read it uh, logically, ah. you don't need any explanation. Oh, okay, I like the word logically. So why why you Muslims have tons of tafsir books then? If there's logically because uh -huh. because no look, in the first century of Islam, uh -huh. the Muslims they were doing it. Uh, did they, were, they not? They, they were winning. They were, they were uh, what? They were what? They were winning uh, all over the Middle East, the okay. battles against the Romans, the Persians. Okay. That's history. Okay. But later on, they failed and they got destroyed up until today. Okay. Isn't that true? Yeah. But how come? It is because in the first century of Islam, the Muslims were following the Quran logically. Great. But you know the Persians when they lost, hmm. they were just they were not just waiting uh, for the Muslims to okay. to do whatever they want. Okay. They had a plan, and their plan was okay. to invent. Okay, so my friend, literature. okay, what you yes. just said now that the first generation of Islam, those are the good Muslim, correct? Yes, this that's is, why you don't have this is Ibn, any hadith. Okay, no problem. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and your prophet named him to be the scholar to explain the Quran. Look what he says. But those who have, hold on, hold on. He says those who have no administration because they are too young. Do you see it? That's a wrong explanation. 
But this is Ibn Abbas, and you are the one who told me that the first generation of Islam, they are the true Muslims. Who, who is Ibn Abbas? Who is this the man? The cousin of your prophet, and your prophet named how, it to how be do you, How do you know that? I, because this is what you Muslim says, this is the cousin. Yes, but when was, when was this hadith written? How many years after the death of the prophet? Well, maybe a week after, I don't know. No, this it is was his cousin. 300 he lived, no, just he 300, lived, years, he lived, 300 he years lived. after the death of the prophet. Okay, but all the hadith is collected hundreds of years after the prophet, so you accept that? Yes. You don't accept any hadith? The, I don't accept any hadith. Ah, okay. All right. So, did you hear the hadith? It says that there's no, like, uh, there's no difference between the black and white hadith? I don't accept any hadith. You don't accept any hadith. Okay. So, as long as you don't accept any hadith. Yes. Uh, do you know Arabic? Uh, a little bit. So, how you understand Islam then? But just by reading the Quran. Uh, uh, by the way, when you say Islam. But you don't know Arabic. You... How you can read the Quran? Look, look. You don't need, okay, look, the Quran says it is sent to all mankind, the Chinese, the Indians, where, everyone. Where it, say, where, where it says that? Where it says that? Rahmatul lil alameen. It says it's all mankind. No, he's talking it's about alameen. is talking about genie and human, and the human are the oh. Arab. Let us go to the Quran. You, you are the one who said that you accept only Quran, correct? Yes. All right. That's wonderful. So in the Quran it says Allah will not send a book or a messenger unless in the language and the tongue of the people. Does the Quran say that or no? Yes, and it did so. It sent to the Arabs and it, the Arabs understand it. So how this is a book for all mankind if it says only I will send to people who speak the language? Because God knows that people will translate it to other people no, no, and no, no, to no, spread no, no. the read, message. No, no, read carefully. You, it, it says here, we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people in order to make things clear for them okay so the things will not be clear for you unless Allah he send you a book in your language from a prophet or a prophet he is from your people the Quran saying that and confirming he never sent anyone this is in the time of Muhammad including Muhammad so how Muhammad can be a prophet for you when you are an Indonesian person are you from Indonesia? No. Where are you from, if you don't mind? I'm from uh, Belgium. Belgium. Okay. Well, yes. where, where are you from originally? Uh, my uh, parents are from Morocco. Oh, okay. So, okay. Moroccan are not Arab. And they don't speak Arabic. So, the Quran says... Yes, they do. No, they do speak the, uh, the Arabic. Arabic you speak today is not Arabic. Come on. It's yeah, it's a dialect. Uh, yeah, come on. You know. It, yeah, uh, but and, and Moroccan are not Arab. And Moroccan are you know they are not to do the Arab. The Arabic Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now the Quran confirm, and you are the one who said I accept only Quran that we never yes. send a book except in the tongue of the people and in the language of the people and the prophet have to be from the people. So how Muhammad is a prophet for someone from Indonesia? Can you show me this first, please? Chapter 14, verse number 4. It's on the screen. Chapter 14, okay. I will look at it. And even the Quran make it clear in order they might understand. Yes, because obviously God cannot send every language to, you know, he has to to, to choose one language. No, it's, so that the people it says the opposite. Understand. No, 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 my friend, it says the opposite. It says Allah will not send the messenger, and he did not send a messenger, yes, except to teach in the tongue and the language of the people, and he have to be from the people. So you're saying the opposite now. So in India, there's at least 400 languages. So in order for Allah to send Islam to Indian, he have to send 400 messengers, and each one of them have a book in their language, for, just for India alone. Yes, that's a good point. Um... Yeah, for, 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 okay. But in the verse it says that he might make plain. For me, the Quran is, the Quran is plain. I what? understand it. No, 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 no. It says they might understand. So they might understand. So Allah, uh, what, what confirmed for us, my friend here, that Allah sent not. Does it say we sent not? 
It says messenger. Okay, we said not. Was a messenger and a prophet. It doesn't matter. No, he's a he's a messenger. Messenger. No, I you see, you know, you see, this is so funny when the Muslim they say messenger and the prophet because messenger a message from who? It's from everyone can be a messenger. Okay. I can be a messenger. You can be a messenger. But, but everyone isn't, can but be a isn't messenger. it all the message coming from God is uh, unknown? Look, the message. Look, look, is it is it God, known or unknown? God, so if God now gave me a message and now that make me a messenger, okay? If yes. I then say to you the message, do you know the message of Allah without me? No, I have to no. say to you what he told me. So yes. a messenger is a prophet of Allah because he go to you, he prophesy to you, he says to you, I warn you, judgment day is coming. So he's prophesying about judgment day. So a messenger, he have to be a prophet prophesying in the name of God. It's not his prophecy. It is... No, I, I, no, no. A the, messenger is someone who, who has a message. Who sh okay, my friend, my friend. Let us go with you. Okay. Is Muhammad a messenger or not? He is. Okay. The verse says we send not a messenger. Correct? Yes. Okay. So Muhammad is included. Muhammad is included, yes. Okay. So we send not a messenger, including Muhammad, except to teach in the language of his own people in order the... To make it clear for them yes so it so, have to be from the people and the book have to yes. be in their yes. language so the quran yes. the quran cannot no be... no no not the book not the book it, it doesn't say the it doesn't say the book it says it says a messenger in their tongue it, it does not say a okay. book in their tongue okay what the message in which tongue a messenger it says okay the message the message in which tongue it can be every tongue no, it says in the tongue of his own, in the tongue yes, of his whole, his people. Every, this verse it says every okay. people. Okay, when Muhammad he was teaching, when tongue. Muhammad was teaching, did, did he teach Quran or he was not using Quran? Look, go, just let, let me explain. Is the Quran just, is is part of the teaching of Muhammad? No, it's teaching of God. Okay, and who is the one who gave you the Quran? Jibril, the the angel. And Jibril gave it to who? He gave it to a man called Muhammad. Okay, and Muhammad gave it to you, correct? No, he don't. He, I, did, I never saw Muhammad give it to me. No, he's dead one four hundred years ago. Okay, but didn't he give to grand 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 grandfather and then gave him to you? No, no. He, he had the, the message he shared with the people around him and the okay. people. So were okay, Arabs. so so, uh, so Muhammad they, he shared the message with the people. What the message is? It was the Quran. Yes. Okay. So this is what the verse is saying. Muhammad, he is a messenger and one of many messengers we send, but none of them we send except in the tongue of his own people to make it clear for them. So Muhammad, he cannot be a messenger for someone from Morocco. Because no, he cannot not... be a messenger for... No, yes, true. But he can be a prophet for someone else. No, he cannot be a messenger. If you can't yes. be a messenger, you can't be a prophet anyway. So you cannot... No, that's not true. Because, that's, okay, that's not what no, I believe. No, because you can't be a prophet without delivering a message. No, no. You can be can a prophet. You, can you be a prophet without delivering a message from God? No. You cannot. Okay, but, but just like, look, Muhammad he had a message. Hmm. So he shared the message with his people. Okay. His people was of the same tongue, Arabic. Uh -huh. But this, their people, so whoever received the Quran, hmm. he shared it elsewhere with other people in their tongue. So so it, it continued. So it, has, it has not to, to be Arabic. Who said that? But the, the verse does not say it has to be Arabic. <clears throat> no, it says. The, here we go. It says the messenger has to be in that. No, that, that, not okay. the message. We will show you different verses. No problem. The Quran confirmed it have to be Arabic, and it is for the look, Arab. Look, it's very simple. Muhammad he sends the message My friend, in Arabic. It's very simple. You don't you don't know you know what we're talking about. It says in the in the no Quran in Arabian la alakum taqilun. Okay. Yes. So okay. you have to so learn Arabic. We send it to you. And... No, we send it to you in Arabic, so you might understand. Okay. So now, yeah, the because Quran... Arabic is a coherent language. It's a logical language. It, it, it's not like any other language uh, who has a lot of like inconsistencies. Ah, the Quran, the, uh, the Arabic does not have inconsistency. Okay. Well, the name of your God is wrong. The word "bismi" in, in, in a Quran is, is the Quran is full of Arabic mistakes. But let us go here. Yes. It says a book where four verses are explained in details in Arabic. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. Is yes. the Quran is the Quran explained? Yes. Okay. Explain to me chapter sixty-five, verse four. Sixty-five, verse, verse five. four. The one I gave it to you first time. 
Okay, wait. Hmm. Verse 4, okay, at talaq hmm. um, So, verse 4, and for such woman of despair of menstruation, if you doubt, the waiting period shall be three months. Hmm. As well as for those who have not menstruated, hmm. and for those who are bearing, the waiting period shall be till they lay down their burden. Wonderful. And whoso is prudent, fear of God, he, he makes for him of his command is. Wonderful. So the Quran confirmed in chapter 41, verse number 3, that the yes. Quran is self-explained book. Wonderful. Now, I gave you a chapter 65, verse 4. It says, women who they never have, or uh, uh, like females who they never no, have. No, no, no. It does not say never have. It says, and for such of a woman of despair of menstruation. So these are women. No, no read before it. Read before it. No, read before it. Read before it. Sir. And those who did not have menstruation ever. Those who never had yes, menstruation. Yes. Okay. But so, that doesn't mean they are a child. That so, doesn't mean that. Because a lot of women who did not have menstruation, but they're still in their 20s, in their, they have a pro medical problem. Don't, ah, don't you know okay. that? But those are rare. What? Those are rare. Are what? Rare, rare. Very rare. rare. Yeah, rare, rare. Like very, okay. very few yeah. they have such issue. Usually women. But it have... exists, and so okay. God has to mention oh, okay. it. Okay. But did Muhammad marry a child? She is six years old? No, he did not. Who? Oh, why not? Where, where, where you because, get this from? Because the, the, the Quran says you can only marry with woman. Oh. And woman is mature age. Okay, it says in the okay. Quran. listen. So mm -hmm. why all the scholars agree that those are too young to have menstruation? You see, I showed you Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet. I can show any scholars, all of them, they agree that those are too young to have menstruation. And now we are talking about yes. divorcing them. So why the scars of Islam, they say, this is about two young girls, and you are saying no. How come they are wrong? What? Why would you uh, listen to the scars of Islam? Why would you? Why I would listen to you? Are you a scholar? Hey, don't, no, don't listen to me. Just read it for yourself and okay, you we did will read get it. it. Okay, we did read it. It says, women who did not have their menstruation, uh, 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 female who never had their menstruation. Okay, so you said those are women who have, you know, they have like illness, so they do not have menstruation. Do you have a proof? Look, the verse says despair of menstruation. So that means no, this woman no, it's never... The, it, no, no, it says they speak about different two, two kind. Those who they are lost hope of menstruation making because, because obviously they are old. Yes. And then it says you have to wait for them. By the way, why you have to wait for them three months? Three months. Um, I don't know. No, uh, look, three months, three months to confirm that they are not carrying a child in their womb, correct? Yes. But what kind of God do you think that it takes three months to know? Mm, maybe, wait, wait. Uh, well, I, I don't know why it's three months. Three because months. it's wrong. Because it's wrong. You do not need to wait three months to know. That why is it wrong? But yeah, who do she, you know? she have, the woman, she have her period. That's it. That means she is not carrying a child, you know. That's it. You don't need to wait three months. Uh, one month, two months. That's it. Three months. This guy, Muhammad, is stuck with number three. So the verse here is speaking about having sex with the children and divorcing children. And the hadith confirmed that your prophet married six years old girl. No. And this is my, evil. I don't this is your interpretation. This is this your not, reading of this. This is not my, my interpretation. No, this is yes, your interpretation. Yes, yes, See, this is this, this, is, this is, is Ibn yes, Abbas. Yes. This is Ibn Abbas, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. This is Ibn but, Abbas, and this is he, and he is the cousin of Muhammad, and he is the one saying, "There's women because of their old age, they don't have menstruation, and there's girls who they are too young. That's why they don't have menstruation. And now we but, are talking about what divorcing them. So you marry them when one when, when they were one day old." Because now, now divorcing them, we're talking about divorcing them, and yet, even in the time of divorce, still they don't have menstruation. Look, I don't uh, agree with the interpretation of Ibn Abbas. I don't ag agree with it. Okay, let us forget about this. Can you give me something in the Quran will make me Muslim? So, so something in the, the Quran that make me Muslim. Like, let us say, you saw me in Belgium and you are a Moroccan person, you want to convert me to Islam. How you can convert me to Islam? Help me. What will you say to me? Just, do, you, just, do, you, do you promise me virgin, like I will have a lot of sex in heaven? No, no. Why no, no? Why no, no? 
I'm sorry, can you repeat? If I met you in Belgium and I am a Christian and you want to convert me, are you going to I come to I me and say... I don't want to convert No problem. We are just uh, have a conversation, my friend. No problem. So are okay, you going okay. to promise me women with big boobs to convert to Islam? I am I'm going to promise you eternal peace. Why you, why you will not promise me boobs? But why you don't promise eternal... me... Why you don't promise me? Why you don't say to me convert to Islam and get women with big boobs? Why? What's wrong? That's not wrong. I can say that. Okay. I, okay. You can. Uh, so, did your God promise you women with big boobs if you convert to Islam? Yes. Is that good? Is there anything wrong with women? No, nothing wrong with the women, but there's. So why, why, but there's okay. What's your point? Actually, where it says there's women, do you see the word women in the in the in the, in the verse? It says. Kawaibun atrab, there's no women. It says big boobs. Where's no, there's, there's no obvi women. Obviously. The, what is the women? Where is the word what women? What verse you talking about? Surah Rahman or what? The chapter of Annaba, chapter 78, verse number 33. 78. In the translation, they put the word women, but in Arabic, there's no women. So now, why does God, he promised me, if I believe in him, he will give me big boobs? What is the connection between let, Allah? Let, let, me, let me read the, the verse first. Yeah. 78 you said that huh? yeah verse number 33 33 okay well-matched maidens with swelling breasts their, their, their breast is a swelling i don't know what swelling means uh, swelling is mean like you hit something with the hammer or like you close the door of the van on your and your finger it will swell you know it will become big so their breast is a swelling? It says... What, transla what translation are you are reading? Uh, it's, it's, it's not very known. Oh, well, okay, give me the name. Maybe I can find it here. His, his name is Sam Gerens. I don't know who this guy. Okay, so swelling, swelling the breast. Allah will give you women with swelling breast. Why? What, what is the connection between Allah and breast? Believing in Allah and breast? Because in life, what do men like? Oh, what man like? You tell me. What man like? What? Big, big breast? What What do you like? What do you like? I like women to leave me alone. I don't want to go to heaven and find women there. I'm running away from them. So now you are saying to me that what makes you believe in Allah is big, bo big boobs? No, I'm saying what, what makes me believe in Allah is that in this life you have you have tests, you have to do overcome these things, you have to overcome... Uh, overcome overcome, uh, overcome uh, what? Your God, Allah, actually is making you... Uh, more, overcome the shaitan, obviously, or, 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 the shaitan. Or, or shaitan is the one who tempt you, right? He, he what? Shaitan is the one who tempt you, correct? He tempts me. Tempt, 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 he tempts ah, you. Ah, tempt, yeah. Tempt. yeah. Okay, but, yes, he, but, is it, tempt, but yeah. isn't it Allah now, he is tempting you by big boobs? No, he's promising, he's not tempting. But this is, okay, shaitan, he promised me too. Shaitan, he promised me if I follow him. The, pro the, the shaitan, he promises and he tempts. Yes. Okay, Allah he is promising you because he did not give you the big boobs yet. Did you have them? Uh, no. Okay, so he is promising you. It's for the future. In the same time, it's temptation because you said this is what men like. Correct? No, because that's not temptation because I, I will have to, to have to trust and to wait a long time before. The no problem, comes. but still it's temptation. So now you are, you are patient, patiently waiting in front of the door of Allah. So one day he will open and the boobs will come in your face. Like boing, 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 they hit your face. And like the party time. That's what you are saying to me. Patient, you are patient now waiting for the boobs. Are you waiting for Allah or for the boobs? For Allah. Okay. What, so what's the connection between Allah and the boobs? The, the connection is that uh, Allah, he created Adam. And he created from Adam his uh, partner. Okay. And so that you can have tranquility. Well, in, he should, in, he should have promised so, you. He should have promised you then the same as he promised Adam, Eve, one Eve, someone, a woman, you love her and you, she love you. That's it. But he is not a promise new Eve. He promised you women you do not know. And he is a promise new. That, look what he described for you. He says that their vagina has never been touched by a genie or a human. I don't yes. want to use the bad language uh, because the Quran Why is, is that? bad language. Why the, is that? Because the Quran is bad language. No. Oh, let me show you. Here we go. Why Allah, why, Allah, why Allah describing for me what is inside the vagina? So now we knew that they have big boobs. 
and now he is describing what is inside the vagina. Where, where do we find that? We're all over the Quran, my friend. Here we go. Let us show you. Uh, you can read with me in the screen, and people will see. Read with me. Volume two, woman of equal age. Uh, chapter fifty-five, verse number fifty-six, wherein both will be those median restraining in their gunas upon their husbands, whom no man or jinn yet muthahun. Between two yes. brackets, he opened their humans with sexual yes. intercourse. So Allah is telling you, He is telling you what is inside the vagina now. He described what is inside the vagina. Why is doing that? Why don't say uh, virgin? Why he described what is inside the vagina? Wait, let me wait. Restraining the hands of the husbands. He does not in, uh, describe what is in it. No, he described because he told us is, yeah. that the skin is inside the vagina is never been broken correct He's yes right? okay so and he they did not bleed okay so allah he described for us not the women he described for us their vagina the state of the women oh, no the state of the vagina not of the women but it is part of the okay woman. do you see do you see the women there do you see the word women it says those, but it's referencing the woman. Okay, referencing to women, but it's speaking about their vagina. Okay, so now Allah, all what He did, He described for us big boobs, and described for us a vagina. What is the woman? So you said all the, the the Quran talks about just this. Well, you tell me. Okay, what well, do you see? Anything else? Look, read with me. It says here that Allah, you are going to have a, a, a coat or a dress made in Iran, but Iran at that time they were, you know, Persian. Uh, Kuffar, so you know you stabrak. You will wear a green silk made in Iran, and then right away he jump about the vagina. What is the connection? I I have not uh, studied this. Read with uh, me. It chapter. says it says here that in the heaven he promised you, huh? Every mm -hmm. every Muslim he will have two 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 paradise. Two paradise. Why two paradise? What you would do with two paradise? You prefer to have two gardens instead of one. You have two paradise. Why? Why two? Because two is better than one. Okay. Why about? But then that's been three better than two. Yes, but maybe it symbolizes something else. I don't know exactly. Yeah, in the hadith it says one is made from uh, uh, silver and one is made from gold. But I said again. I said to you, I don't accept the hadith. Exactly. So but just... you just said you are the one who says you do not need the hadith. You need the Quran. You can explain. And now you are saying to me, you can explain. But I have look. Hmm. So he, you will have to have no problem. Let's just let it go. And then, uh, uh, then right away, your God he jump, and he says, uh, "There's a branches in the heaven. Will I have branches in my yard?" And then look. Okay, and there is yeah, two. And there is the, two spring. The of, the, there is the two spring of water the flowing. There is two spring. What does that mean? So what? Who, who care? And then there is there is a, from every kind of a fruit, two kind, male and female. That's why it's funny and stupid. And then he says, and then he will be sitting on a on a on a couch or in a bed, and uh, those beds are uh, covered. Uh, the 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 fabric of it made in Iran. Huh? What yes, does that mean? There's a record prince. Okay. Where, the and then right away he jumped that the, there's uh, there is uh, there is vaginas who nobody touched them. Yes. Okay. And how the vagina look like? So I'm sorry. How the vaginas look like? Do they look like rubies? Uh, look. The, the Quran just says if you behave my friend the, vag the, the then... vagina forget about this I'm asking you now does the Quran describe the vagina how they look like that they look like rubies and coral yes okay why you need the vagina look like ruby and coral I'm sorry was the, why why uh, why what well, you know a, a vagina look like ruby I mean what does that mean because it's precious. Okay, so now all the women is made of ruby, and her vagina is made of ruby, and she is made no. from coral. Is she made from coral or like coral? 
It's whatever you want. You are in, in uh, the paradise. You, you decide what you want. Oh, you can redesign it. I feel okay. Whatever you want. That's wonderful. Okay. So now, okay. Now, what? What this? Why does God is making us talking about food, dress? It says they are like. They are not rubies. They are like. Okay. Rubies. They are what? like. Are you saying Allah is like, lying? Are you saying lying? They are like it's rubies. Like you say, okay. It's like you say. My son is like something very like a core a ruby. It's like your son is precious. It just mean that. Okay, they are like rubies. What? But is rubies? Yes. How women they it's can be like? It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Exactly, it's a metaphor. But he's describing yeah. us. Uh, uh, is the women metaphor or they are real? The, the women what? Are they are they metaphor the women or real? They are real. Okay, so what is the metaphor of a vagina which look like ruby? It means uh, that it is uh, like rubies. It's precious. It's a precious vagina? Yes. Wonderful. You know, I, I was, I, I, I'm, I'm almost, I'm converting by the way, because now we heard that there's a God, he will give us women, they are like rubies and their vagina look like rubies. And this is my dream, you know, I, I wanted always, I was afraid that women vagina, they are not like rubies or coral, but now Allah, he convinced me, yeah. So, so this is what will make me I become a Muslim? Okay, no. what if I don't become a Muslim? What Allah will do to me? But you don't even know what Muslim means. What does Muslim mean? You tell me. What, go ahead. Muslim means someone who submits. Where it, say, submits. Where it says that? Where you're learning this? It says, Min al Muslimin. It says uh, that. You, what, what do Muslim? It comes from uh, the root word Salam. It, Islam, it means submission. No, my friend, Salam. So salam is the opposite. Salam means, you know. Peace, Islam means to surrender. Yes. Okay. So it's, it's, it's to surrender to God. Exactly. Don't you want to surrender so it's, to God? So you surrender in war, you don't surrender in peace. So you surrender, you don't, you see, the Muslim, they lie to us, or maybe by mistake, or maybe because of their ignorance. They say that the word uh, Islam uh, means a submission. But the Quran confirmed that the word Islam means to surrender. As an example, in chapter 48, verse number 11, and chapter 48, verse number 16, confirm to us that either you surrender to Allah or we will kill you. Right? No. Okay, here we go. Let us go to chapter uh, 48. Open the Quran with you from your side. 48 outside? Yeah. Go at first, sorry. Uh, 16. 16. Yeah. Say to the wandering Arab, who they left behind, those who yes. want to join Islam, you will be called against folk of might powers to fight them until they surrender. This is the word Islam, translation of the word Islam, Muslimun. So you fight and then they surrender. Then those people, they surrender to Islam. What happened to them? Do you remember what happened to them? Uh... They will get fights. No, no. Those who surrender to Islam, they became Muslim, right? Yes. Okay. Is the one who be as a Muslim is a believer or not a believer? He's a he's a believer. The Quran says no. The Quran no, 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 wait. What? No, no, no. The Quran someone says someone who submits, who someone who submits, he can submit to anything. He doesn't have to be a believer. No, no. no. Somebody he surrender to Allah. Is he a, is he a believer or not? Not necessarily. So how you submit to Allah and you, or you surrender to Allah and you are not a believer? How how that happen? Belief is expressed by saying I believe in God. Okay. It's simple. So if the Arab they say I believe in Allah, is that making mm -hmm. a believer or not? Yes. Okay. The Quran didn't agree with you. In chapter forty nine, okay. verse number fourteen says, the wandering Arab, the Bedouin, they say we believe. They believe what in, in Islam. Uh, they said that to Muhammad. We said the Shahada. Muhammad said to them, you believe not, but rather you say, we are Muslims. So we surrender. So Muhammad saying to them, don't say we believe, say we are, we surrender. What, what verse is that? Chapter 49, verse number 14. So the Quran confirmed that Muslims are forced to convert to Islam. And Muhammad is saying to them, Allah told me to tell you that you cannot lie to him. You are a bunch of liars. You convert to Islam because I was going to kill you. So don't yes. say... <laughs> Don't yes, say okay. don't okay. don't okay. say we believe. Say we are Muslims. So in Islam, Allah teach us that you can be a Muslim, and you don't believe. That's 
Okay, that's true. But okay, but look, this is but this is that's mean Islam is from the devil, because no, the, no, no. Look, how now? Either you, Allah either, is forcing you to be a hypocrite. Allah is look, forcing either, you. Allah is forcing you, submit, you to say either you submit to God or you submit to to the Satan. They submit what to God. They submit already, but they don't believe because Muhammad he forced them by the sword. So look what happened. Allah is saying to them, not Muhammad. You say, you say, we believe. Say, don't say we believe. Say we are Muslims. So the Quran teach that a Muslim is someone who don't believe. A Muslim is someone who say I'm a Muslim. Do you see it? Believing is yeah. not required in Islam. Uh, it is. It is required. For, read the verse in the front of you. You say you believe, but you believe not. Rather say. So Allah advising them what to say. Say we surrender to Muslims. No, the Arabs, the Arabs, they say we believe. Okay, exactly. But, but Allah, God knows in their hearts that they have not believed. Exactly. So what Allah said to them, don't say that. Don't say we believe. Say, say we are Muslims. So Allah is correcting them, saying, don't say we believe. Say we are Muslims. Yes, because they have not... Uh, faith has not entered their hearts. Exactly. Heart. So a Muslim is somebody whose faith did not enter his heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me. But uh, how in the world this is religion? So this God is teaching us to be hypocrite. He don't, he don't care if we believe or not. He just saying, say we Muslim. But we don't believe no, in you. No. Say, just say we are no, Muslim. No, no. Don't care. Yeah, it's, no, no. You just it, said it, that. Not... You agree with me. You, you just said you got me. You yeah, believe yes, yes. not, but rather say. No, he, no, no, no. He is teaching them what to say. Don't say we believe. You don't believe. Believe did not enter your heart. But you no. should say we are yes. Muslims. Yes, because you either submit to the to the true they authority. They did already. Or they did the already. My friend, they did. They did. They did. Allah telling them what to say now. They did already. They became they are not a shahada. So they say we believe. He said no. Don't say we believe. We don't believe. Say we are Muslims. No, it doesn't say say you are Muslim. Say it says here we submit. go. Here we go. No, no, no. You see, you are, you are reading translation, my friend. Let me read for you in Arabic. I'm sure if you do not yes. know Arabic, you speak a little yes. bit Arabic, right? Okay. It says yes, yes. here we go. Okay. قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Aslamna. Aslamna. So say we are Muslims. Correct? Yes. Okay. So he's saying to them, don't say, you don't believe. huh? <laughs> but you should say, you should say, we are Muslims. So how in the world, what kind of religion says, you are not a believer, but you should say we are Muslims. Jesus will not accept that. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he warned us from hypocrite. He said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who will do his will. Muhammad yes, yes. saying the but opposite. The next, Muhammad the next, saying, you the next can be. Is, but if you obey God and his messenger. How you can obey God? You. You, okay, hold on. So you are saying to me, you obey Muhammad, you are a Muslim, even if you don't believe in Muhammad. What kind of religion is religion is? No. If you believe, if you obey God and his messenger, the next the next verse you say, the believers are but those who believe in God and his messenger. No, then no, not. no, 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 it doesn't say that. He says, yes, well, in totio, no, he says, you believe not. Here we read with him carefully. He says, and you believe not, and faith did not even enter heart. Yet, no, I'm talking yet, about no listen, 15, listen, 15, he's talking, the next he's, no, yeah, he's talking to the same people. Yet, if you obey Allah and his messenger, you will not withhold from like from your deed so Allah promising them even if you don't believe in me even heart never, your heart never have faith just obey but, Muhammad no 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 look look it's like do you believe in your government <laughs> they don't believe in the government they just a verse says but you submit you submit to the government you my have to friend, pay your taxes no, but don't you don't be, believe no, in no 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 listen so you are saying to me your prophet is a government and the muslim don't believe no, no, in this I'm government saying, i'm saying so Allah that's mean that's mean muhammad the, is a oh, fraud muslims no. those muslims they believe muhammad is a fraud is a scam they refuse to believe no, no, in no, no, him no, 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 muhammad no, no, he no. said to them allah told me as long you obey me it's okay the verse says that in front of you but obeying the messenger means obeying God. No problem. But they don't believe in this God and they don't believe in this messenger. So they don't, they are, don't have to. So they don't have to. They don't, yeah, have, they don't to. have to, guys. Did you hear it? They don't have to. So a, a good Muslim is the one who don't have to no, believe no. in Allah. <laughs> he don't have to believe good. in that God. But he obey God. That's it. Okay, it's good. Don't, no problem. Don't, don't jump to conclusion too. You are the one who said that. You said you don't have to. But 
you have you have not let me speak. I you, uh, always you. Are, no, you written. are talking from like now. We are complaining. We are talking for the last hour, me and you, and we didn't change yeah. the way we talk. And now you are complaining because just, you are in corner. Me, so yeah, in life, in life, you, you, you either submit to the evil or to to the good. Okay, is Allah is okay. So now those people they did not submit to Allah. Did they submit to Allah? They, they, they did. They did submit. They did. Okay, but they don't believe in Allah, correct? They don't have to. Okay, so they did not submit then. You, you can't know. You can't know what he. You see, they submit. Have. You can't know, submit. You can't know what he. You no, can't know what submit he is can't. something you do willingly. Submit is I submit. Yes. Okay, but yes, now you yes. are saying to me they don't believe. That's me. They did not submit. Muhammad, he forced them by the sword. Says convert or no, I will no, kill you. No, look, it's like today. In the government, you either submit to the government or you, you get in jail, but you don't necessarily okay. believe in the okay. government. Okay, you know, we, we cover this topic. Let me ask you, what is your education? Uh, so, uh, uh, programming. That's wonderful. Okay. Did, yeah. Allah, did Allah program you? Yes. He programmed you? Yes. So you believe in destiny? Yes. Okay, so how you talk about belief if it's a destiny anyway? Allah destiny for you to be a Muslim, correct? Well, uh, yes. Okay, Allah destiny for me to be Christian, correct? Maybe you not later. No, no. Allah he destiny for me to be a Christian, yes or no? I don't know what your destiny is. No, no, no. Allah is the one who destiny for me wherever I am, correct or no? Yes. Okay. So how Islam is exist then? If it's a destiny anyway. So you believe you don't believe. It's not you are not believing anyway. It's a destiny. Islam is the most stupid religion because No, no, the it means you have your own choice, choice. What is the choice? Okay, what is the choice? You just said to me destiny. No, in the, the Quran says you have the own cho where, choice. Where it says, where it says, it says in the Quran everything. In, in Surah Baqarah uh, 254 of 256 uh Chapter 2? Yes. Verse 2 what? It's after... Um, 255, uh, 255, I think. The Quran 255? Yes. You are sure? Yeah, of 256. Wait, oh, okay, let's see. Let's see, check, let us see check we, it. we will end. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Hmm. Yes, two five six. No compulsion two, five, is there in the in the religion, okay. in doctrine. Okay. Well, so well, if there is no compulsion, you you are free to do what you want to do. Uh, where it says that? Two five six. Where it says there's no compulsion in religion. No comp No compulsion in doctrine. Okay, where it says that? This is what does that mean? It this is you have you have a free. Uh, you have free soul, you do whatever you want. Okay, so chapter 9, verse 29 says, Kill those who don't believe in Allah. No, no, so no. How chapter, does two, no? chapter 2. I, I understand. So, how this is, it says there's no, this is abrogated. This Muhammad, when he was weak, Muhammad, when he had no army, he was speaking actually not only to the, he was speaking to the no, Christians. Listen, I don't he was speaking to Christians and the Jews. I don't believe, he was speaking I don't to the Arab. Any, Listen, listen. He was speaking to the Arabs, saying to them, you cannot force your children not to convert to Islam. So he was not talking about not to force you to convert to Islam because Muhammad himself, he ordered in the Quran, and you said you believe in the Quran. Chapter 9, verse 29, kill those who don't believe in Allah. Correct? No, I, I say this verse is not abrogated. No problem. If this is not abrogated, that's mean the contradiction. In chapter, no. okay, chapter 9, verse number 29, can you read it for me? Chapter 9. Hmm. Does it say, fight and kill those who don't believe in Allah in the last day, and they, or they don't forbid what Muhammad forbid, specifically the Christian and the Jews? Wait, I'm going to read it. Hmm. What, what verse? Chapter 9, verse number 29. 29, okay. Okay. Mm. Read it for us. Go so, ahead. Or you heed a warning. If you if you be in prudent fear of God, he will make you for your division and remove from you your evil mm. and forgive you. And God is one possessing tremendous of bounty. What are you reading? Uh, this, uh, no, no, it's uh, chapter 8. Sorry. 29, you said that? Huh? Chapter 9, verse 29. Yes. 
fight those who believe not in God or the last day. Hmm. Uh, make not unlawful what God and his messenger have made unlawful and adhere not to the doctrine of truth. Hmm. Among those in possession of the law until they make reparation under supervision when they are brought low. Hmm. You said there is no compulsion in Islam. He is fighting them because they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in the last day. They don't believe what is forbidden by Muhammad. In this context, it says fight when you are attacked. Where, not where it says that? Where it, say, where it says that? Where? In the previous what? verses. Where? Where it says that? No, no. The previous it verse. The previous verse says Muhammad is a racist. Says anyone is not a Muslim, he is najis. He's filthy. No, Muslim. It is. It is not a race. It's okay. Read that. No, read that. It says the verse before it says those who they are not Muslims are the the pagan, the polythe polytheist, adulterers, etc. Those are najis. You know what najis mean? Unclean. In, In filthy, certain contexts. So according to your religion, anyone is the Muslim is filthy. This is racist. No. No. So you think I'm a filthy now? No, because save the idolaters with whom you made a pledge, they are not deficient towards you in anything and help you not against you. Fulfill to them their pledge to its term. God loves those who no, 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 don't, fear, don't mix fear. things up. Don't mix things up. Am I filthy? The, Am I filthy or not for the, you? Am I filthy for you or not? If you wage war against the truthful. What is war? It says here, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Do you see the word war? Save the idolaters. What idolaters? Hold on. It says fight against those who believe not in Allah. Verse 4. Verse 4. Save the idolaters. What verse 4? Of the same chapter, al tawbah what, what does this have to do? Actually, here Muhammad is... Uh, uh, Muhammad made an agreement with the Arab and he's washing his hand from it. Actually, the real name of this chapter is Bara, uh, not uh, not uh, Tawba. Bara, which means he signed he signed an agreement with the, with the Arab and he washed his hand from the Arab. He says, I all the agreement I signed with them, it's gone. Go kill them. Coward. No, save the idolaters we no, made the pledge. No, it says all the agreement we signed with them, it is gone. Go and kill for the coming four moth. Uh, yes, okay. okay. Secondly, your prophet did not have any agreement with the Christians. So why in chapter 9, verse number 29, saying kill the Christians? What the Christians did? The answer is very simple. In verse number 28 it says, because now he killed the Arab, he took over the Kaaba, and he forbid them from coming. He says, if you are afraid that you will have, you will be poor, you will suffer from poverty, don't worry. Attack the Christian and the Jews and take their money. Read it. Right away, the verse after it. If you are afraid, if you are afraid people of Mecca, if you are afraid Arab, Muslims, if you are afraid that you will be poor now because we killed all the Jews, we killed, about the we, killed, we killed all those who don't believe in me. You are afraid that you will fear poverty. Don't worry, Allah will give you His bounty. What is the bounty? Fight against the Christian and the Jews, kill them, and force them to pay jizya. So it was for money. Uh, yes, uh, but what verse are you talking about? Verse 30. Chapter. 9 verse 29 verse number 28 29 okay. so he want to kill them for a very simple reason doesn't say there anywhere because they are fighting you no fight this is specific for the christian and the jews fight those no. against those who don't believe in allah doesn't matter mm -hmm. who jizya uh jizya does not mean what you think it is what does it mean my the verse uh the, it says until they make reparation under hmm. supervision hmm. when they are brought low. Low. That's, that's my low. Okay, does it say you have to bring them low? L low. Okay. It lower. Low, like under your shoes? Yes. Okay, so just you mean to humiliate the Christians, to put them under your shoes? No, it means metaphorically that they Not are metaphorically, be, you yep. are going in war and you are killing them just metaphorically now. You are taking their country, they are taking their money, you are taking your women, their women, and now you are saying to me metaphorically, and it says you have to bring them low. And I say to you, it means under you put them under your shoes. You said yes. Just metaphorically now. Wait, wait. Let me just process the verse. <laughs> metaphorically. Anyway, my friend, take care.
I'm here for long.